hi guys welcome back to another episode of the migrant hope channel today is actually a very exciting day i'm going to the farmer's market to do grocery shopping and guys usually my budget for a month is about a hundred dollars for grocery shopping for everything right and i usually go to the farmer's market most importantly guys you always always need a list so i have my list over here which has everything that i want to purchase so i'll just be taking you guys along so you see exactly what i'm going to buy and how much it all costs so come along and let's go all right make sure you subscribe and let's jump into the video you get into the farmer's market make sure you grab as many bags as you would need so that you don't have to keep going back and forth as you can see i was at the aisle for tomatoes and that is what i was grabbing i use all those tomatoes for the plenty of rice and stew that i make all the time next thing i wanted was pepper because i need to make some arrow i need to make some good food and i need it to be hot and spicy so here i was just getting some ha some habanero peppers which of course is on my list which you will see me crossing off you see me crossing off the tomatoes you see me crossing off the pepper right there so guys everything you see me getting is because i pre-plan what exactly i'm going to cook as you can see i'm getting more peppers more habaneros because i'm never never satisfied with pepper because I use it for my pepper sub sauce. I use it also when I'm just cooking regularly. I like food nice, hot, and spicy. Now, before you go to the farmer's market, make sure that you plan. You have your list ready. You have your food, what you possibly are going to cook. Staple things I always buy are like pepper, tomato, as you can see. And then the next thing, guys, I'm on this my healthy journey and I don't know how to act. Look at me I buying carrots here. Like, who do I think I am, honestly speaking? <laughs> Funny story about those carrots I bought because you best believe I was not about to grate them. So at this point, most of them are bad. Guys, I headed over to the meat section. As you see me standing here, right? I wanted to buy mincemeat, but then I remember that I actually had mincemeat at home. So of course I didn't need it. So definitely wasted my time standing there. As you can see, just giving you a nice look of the amazing farmer's market. This is like the meat uh, section. They have a whole another section for a fish so yeah all right just grabbing some chicken um i didn't get a chance to show you guys the line but it was long of course when you go to the farmer's market be prepared the line for chicken is always always the longest i just got some chicken legs because i would like to grill next thing i'm just getting i think this was some oxtail i got because <laughs> i'm half caribbean if you guys didn't know as usual checking my list because i wanted to get some ground turkey as well um yeah so that's basically what you see me getting here this was about the last thing that i got at the store at this point i was ready to be out i wanted to get some tilapia but as you can see please ladies and gentlemen look at the line at this point i was like nah peace out i'm out so we stood there for like two seconds and then i was like nope i'm going home not standing in this line no thank you Alright guys, I just finished and the bill came up to 77.69. So we kind of showed you guys everything that we got or and picked up at the store. So yeah, so the remainder of this 77, I need to buy some rice, which I'm gonna buy from an actual grocery store, and then some cooking oil, which is also going to, to come from another grocery store. Maybe, maybe not Walmart, depending on how I feel. But yeah, we spent less than a hundred. We didn't really have time to go more grocery shopping that day. So the next day after church, just went to uh, Kroger and bought some stuff. Just me buying some okra here, as you can see. And shortly after that, um, of course, went to buy some meat so that I could use for the okra. I really, really was normal for some okra. And here, this, what you guys see me. When I go to the grocery store, especially guys, I'm very indecisive because my ass is always, always <laughs> looking for the cheapest one and the best one. So that's what I was doing. And that's what I was trying to 
you know, figure out and find myself to win. As you can see, this is me walking in heels in the grocery store, ladies and gentlemen. I just left church, so don't mind me. You would never ever see me walking in heels aside from that. Let me tell you a story, guys. After I did this, you best believe, you all best believe your girl's foot was swollen because I'm clearly in physical therapy and hopefully my therapist is not watching this and hopefully he's not going to catch me wearing heels. So yeah, I found the oil I need and at this point we were out. Guys, I spent some time doing this because as I said, <laughs> I'm always looking for the cheapest and the best option.